Hey everyone, how did your money perform as at the mid of October 2024? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the biggest money market fund weekly show where we keep track on what's going on in the market and how our money is growing. This is quarter four and if you ask me then this is that best time to plan the following year in advance. So before we get started with the USD money market funds updates, I wish to encourage everyone who has made tremendous effort to this point and kept the discipline. It is not in vain. This poverty cycle that has been going on and on and on and on has to be broken and that will be broken by none other than you and please join me to encourage someone out here if you have made some progress any progress tell us where and if that decision has been worth the while in the comment section and for those here to start i think this is the time that you need to join the party as well four out of 11 companies on our usd money market fund list had a slight increase as shown in the green led by kuza five companies are in red which means means that they had a slight drop while two are gray which means that they retained their last week's performance things look balanced kidogo this week no major ups or downs uh, and nabo closed the list with 4.81 percent and now when we come to the fixed income funds as you can see the impact of the dropping bonds can actually be seen here where out of the 10 companies on our list eight are in red only two companies recorded some slight growth and that is absa and zimele and remember i told you last week that absa is jumping up and down a lot and therefore we hope somehow it will get a smooth curve soon maybe as you can see this week it jumped from position four to position two how will next week be looking like in the fixed income funds we can only wait and see so orient maintained last spot recording 10.73 percent which is almost five and a half percent or something there about difference compared to the leading company but with inflation at 3.6 percent the real growth is still significant and now to the kenya shilling money market fund where most of us have invested the average slightly dropped by 0.01 percent which fairly means the results are almost the same as what we had recorded last week out of the first 10 companies only two had a slight increase and the two being a part of the seven companies out of the 25 that are in green three companies did not move up or down as shown in gray and that's 15 out of 25 companies companies are highlighted in red they had a decline equity had a slight increase and is no longer on the last spot where it was maintaining for several weeks while apollo money market fund had a big growth jumping from number 16 last week all the way to number seven this week that was impressive kunafununu britam is up to something good so i will be here to tell you about it in the coming few days and as we saw from the last video that i did following the cbk rate reduction kamu jayangalia check it out on youtube we are going to see more rates reducing across board and if you want to understand why make sure you don't miss that video where i do the explanation in full already the 91 day treasury bill is currently at 14.99 percent and we expect more reduction going forward following the cbk reduction but still the averages are looking very very good it's still a good time to take advantage and get ahead financially so class see to kutani apoko comment section Thank you so much for watching. My name is Otachi and see you in the next video.